First on Five, a News Channel 5 investigation after a Muslim man was wrongly arrested at a local hotel. The dramatic takedown captured on an officer's body camera. Now we're learning the arrest had an impact across the globe. Unwarranted, uncalled for, but once again, you think that you're always right, but you're not. This uh, Arab man uh, who, um, who was dressed funny and was speaking in Arabic, which is the language of ISIS. You did the right thing. Well, it seemed everyone had an opinion about the Avon Police Department flooding it with calls and emails after what became an international incident earlier this summer. Yeah, that Muslim man was detained after someone called 911 claiming he supported ISIS. The arrest it divided the world. And our Derek Waller has an exclusive look of how people and police reacted in private. Derek, live from the newsroom with some new international correspondence. Well, Frank and Lee, I actually requested those emails and phone calls related to that June 29th incident. I actually she spent all morning uh, pouring through them, and it was immediately clear that officers knew this story was about to blow up. An apology is not enough. Voicemails left in Avon Police Chief Richard Bosley's inbox took his department to task. America definitely, brother, definitely needs to get with it. But others told the chief his crew did the right thing, even placing the blame on the man they detained outside the Fairfield Inn and Suites on June 29th. That after a nervous hotel clerk's relatives called police and falsely claimed he had pledged allegiance to ISIS. It's all part of an Islamic bait, instigate, terrorize the infidel, play the victim. These people are very intimidating and we have to stop giving in to them. Those calls part of a News Channel 5 public records request that also included internal emails showing in the days after the incident, the department turned to a Cleveland-based crisis management firm to draft their public statement. And those emails revealed Chief Bosley's personal feelings, telling another officer on July 3rd, this is still quickly growing larger and larger. That was drafted just hours after this scene. Only we were in the room as the chief, the law director, and the mayor apologized to Ahmed Aminali face to face. It moved Tiffany from Singapore to write, I'm glad that you showed understanding, empathy, and kindness toward another human being. But Felix from Abu Dhabi remained angry, writing, quote, Your department just let me down. And then there's this. You're a bunch of racist morons, and I hope you get fired. Still others directed their anger towards the hotel clerk and her family, writing, whoever called 911 on that poor guy at the Fairfield Inn should be charged with making a false report. We're lucky someone didn't get killed. And that hotel clerk that made that claim still has not been charged. I did actually reach out to the prosecutor today. He says this case is actually still under investigation. Live in the newsroom, Derek Waller, News Channel 5.